Hi guys, it's Marsha, Marsha, Marsha coming at you live outside of Charleston, South Carolina in my little camper tonight. And I thought I would, I uh, had several of you ask about um, cheesecake. So I'm going to make my no-bake cheesecake. You don't have to bake it. You don't have to do anything special. I'm just going to make it up. It's super, super easy. Um, if you are joining me live, put live. If you are, hey Bonnie, if you're catching the replay, just give me a hashtag replay. Hey Priscilla. So basically this is the absolute easiest, hello Lindy, absolute easiest little throw together dish. All I'm going to do is take my ingredients, put it in here. Hey Christine. And then, um, pop it in the fridge for a couple hours, but you really don't even have to put it in the fridge. You can eat it just like it is. Hey Cassie. Now you can make this in a dish as like a pie so you can use yourself a pie dish if you'd like this recipe is probably going to be either a very thin pie um oh that's katie kate kate um and or you can use one of these which is a small bowl with a lid or um a small little pot with the lid so if you guys let me know where you're coming from that's awesome i always like to know where everybody's coming in from i'm really excited today um the eclipse is coming up sunday i'm super excited and along with the eclipse is our new product eclipse for those of you who are local to the charleston area i will be um having a local tasting so you guys can check out those flavors out so, what I'm doing here is I'm just getting uh, one package of cream cheese, and we got, we, hey Angela, we have talked about cream cheese before. You want to get the Philadelphia one or read the label and find one. Hey Betty and Jessica, find one because your carbohydrates in this one is less than one gram, and your carbohydrates in a lot of off brands that I've seen are about two grams. So, you want to make sure that you get one that is going to work for you guys. Um, one other thing that I'm going to put in here is I'm going to get some butter that's already been softened. Now, what I do is, uh, for those of you who don't know what softening butter and cream cheese is, just set it on your counter and let it get soft at room temperature. And um, this particular one, we left out a little bit of it, so i got to add a little to it. So, it's a stick of butter and um, one package of Philadelphia cream cheese. Yes, everyone loves cheesecake. This is my go-to. Um, drop me a one below if you have a bit of a sweet tooth, because I do. I do have a bit of a sweet tooth. And um, if you're one of those that, you know, have to have a little something, hey Kim, this is my this is my go-to. I love, love, love this cheesecake. I try and make it and keep at least some in the fridge during the week. Yep, there goes Bonnie. So now I'm just gonna add some vanilla flavoring um, this is a natural one. I don't measure this very much. I'm just going to add about two tablespoons. So vanilla flavoring is really good. You could throw some cinnamon in here if you wanted. Um, you could also, uh, let's blend this up first before we put anything else. Yep. There you go, Jessica. There, Cassie. Now this is going to be a little bit loud and my bowl's a little bit small. But it'll be right. Now, you probably want to use a slightly larger bowl, but I'm in a camper, so you guys know that um, I'm in limited space, so I use a, a smaller bowl, but that's kind of the size. You want it to be the consistency there, putting it together, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm um, going to add, I just love these little cups. They're my favorite. Hey, Taylor. Um, I, I'm not real particular. Um, just learning about some of these. This is zero carbs. It's a uh, pyre bakeable stevia blend. Doesn't mean you have to bake it. Hello, Christina. Hey, Lila Pela. Nini loves you. Um, so I'm just going to put in, and this one's kind of a sweet sweetener. So I'm going to put in a uh, half a cup of this, just a little over a half a cup, actually. This particular one is very lightweight. It's excellent, excellent, excellent for baking. Hey, Roy. So that is Pyre Bakeable Stevia. This is what it looks like. And as you can see, it's very, very thin, very lightweight. So I'm just going to take this instead of, um, you want to be careful whenever you have a mixer like that, when you're adding ingredients like this, that you don't just, it's a very dusty, um, type of, of sugar. So I'm going to kind of just blend it in here a little bit, kind of gently. Now that I have my cream cheese and all put in there, I'm pretty good. So, um, one of the great things about being on keto is there's so many great foods that you can eat and enjoy. Whoops. 
on keto. This is one of them. Now, does that mean that you can eat endless amounts of this stuff and just sit down and eat the whole thing? Absolutely not. If you're looking for that kind of diet plan, it will be on the other side of heaven when you get that. Hey, Barb. Um, so, this is just something that is a nice treat that will satisfy you and you'll still be able to maintain losing some weight. Now, like I said, you could put some cinnamon in here. You could put some um, coconut, uh, unsweetened coconut, shredded coconut in here. I've done that before, but I like it just the plain, easy, easy peasy one. So I've got that blended up in there well enough now. I go around. Now, that's pretty thick, guys. So now I'm going to add... Um, now, I'll show y'all how thick it is. Hey, Misty. So, it's pretty thick, which is good because we want to have it a nice consistency. But I'm just going to add just a little bit. And I use Land O'Lakes Heavy Whipping Cream. It um, has zero carbs in it versus others. And that's probably about a tablespoon of it. Because um, I like for it to be pretty creamy. You could also alternatively put a little bit of sour cream in here if you like that kind of flavor. But... This is my basic go-to, and now that I've added that, I'm going to show you guys, it's much creamier. So, oops, I don't know if you guys can see that at all, but it's much, much creamier, yeah. So you've got a much creamier consistency. Well, hey, Melinda, um, make sure you send me a friend request if you guys are new on here. Melinda's new. Welcome to Keto, Melinda. Um, I do have a workshop that is free. It's every single week on Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come to my channel. If we're not friends, go ahead and click on my face. Let's become friends. Hey, Jenny. Hey, Rodriguez. Let's become friends today. And, um, and if you'd like to be put into a wonderful, wonderful group, I just absolutely love who shares recipes, shares inspiration, encouragement, tips, tricks, hacks, all the fun stuff. Um, thousands of us in there, then uh, go ahead and comment group below. But make sure that we are friends already. If we're not already friends, it makes it a little more complicated. Now, this is a great way to measure. I'm going to show you guys I have a handful of pecans. So instead of constantly trying to figure out what's what, guess how much a handful of pecans is? It's about a quarter of a cup. So I'm going to toss in, and this one I'm just going to do a quarter of a cup and then a little extra. So basically a nice big handful. And if you want this recipe, um, I will post it in the description afterwards. I always do that in case I change things up a little bit. Um, so I just did that one quarter and one third. Hurry, you guys who are good at fr uh, fraction math, go ahead and tell me what one quarter plus one third is and then we'll know how many pecans are in here. <laughs> so this is nice and creamy. Super, super good. Now, you could do a couple of things. If you didn't add the heavy whipping, creaming, heavy whipping cream in here, it would be much thicker. And then you could potentially make um, little balls out of them. The other thing that is super good in this is I like to take a little bit of chocolate chips. Just small, half a handful maybe. You know, not just like a little, probably... Uh, one to two ounces. There's not much net carbs in those. It's pretty good. So just mix those up in there. And you really don't need that much chocolate for it to say yay chocolate. So we have um, cheesecake. It's definitely, definitely, definitely my favorite. Kimmy, yay, you got your trial pack. What? Wonderful. So um, what I'm going to choose to do this in is actually going to be this. I have a nice lid, so I'm going to take it, hey Sherry, and I'm going to dump it in this little bit, uh, container here that I have a lid for. I just got these Pyrex dishes. They are awesome. For those of you who are local, y'all get at me for the Eclipse event of our tasting. I am very excited. I'm going to teach you guys, and I will go live for it. I'm going to teach you guys how to order out when you go to a restaurant, which is going to be super fun. So I want my viewers online to also benefit from this. So I'm going to let people who want to go live, go live with me on the taste test to see the true reactions of the people of what, uh, what the drink tastes like. Okay, so this is um, not a very large recipe whenever you break this up. If you want to enter the recipe, there is very, very well fit, I believe it is. 
um, is the name of the website. If you want the name of the recipe site, you can let me know. But that, uh, you can enter in any recipe in there. And it will tell you exactly what the nutritional information is. However, I am a lazy, dirty keto, so very seldom will you get nutritional information from me. All I can tell you is this is absolutely delicious. And it's about, probably I'd say about two grams per serving. So you're going to put it in like that. Pop it in the fridge. Now, there's a couple things you can do once it's done. You can spoon it out and just have it like a spoonful and just say, hey, I need a little something on the spoon. Or it does cut really nice. Now, this, is, this one doesn't have a crust, but the crust is, um, I don't do a crust on this because you'll want to bake the crust. And it's almond flour, cinnamon, and sugar, and butter. Um, but this particular one is just a pop in and go. In two hours, I'm going to have a nice, yummy, yummy treat. So, um, I just pop this in and, and when it pops out, then I'll just take my knife and I'll be able to cut it just like a pie. So I usually say it's four very good servings. So you guys can see, hopefully you can see that, that this is a huge serving. So you could probably have even, um, eight of those. So those are super, super yummy. Everybody likes this. It's really good. If you want to add a little bit of, um, lemon flavoring on there. You can have a lemon one. Um, the website, do the nutritional information. I'll, I'll comment on that and get that to you. Natasha, if you're new, definitely friend me. You can also put this, and I like to do this the fast way. So I'm going to take mine and put it in the freezer. And it should set up enough in about 30 minutes or less that I can just grab it out. Um, for those of you who are new, I know you're probably feeling a little bit overwhelmed. You need some help. You need some direction. Sorry, guys. My cheese is full. You need some help. You need some direction. Um, you just are overwhelmed with keto. I remember starting out, I was very, very overwhelmed. And so, I offer a free workshop every single Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on my channel. If we're not friends, go ahead and friend me. That way, you can follow me and find out when I do go live. Um, for those um, who want to learn. Now, I'm not going to do all the work for you. You show up, and you show up every week, and then I do lives every day. You show up, you'll learn, and you'll get it. Um, there's just a few things that, that I'm going to mention every week in my workshop just to make sure everybody gets it. But um, if you just show up and you do what I tell you every single week, I assure you, in the end of 12 weeks, you will be so proud of yourself and so glad you did. I've already gotten, I've done two weeks and I've already gotten tons of messages from people just watching you one week. I have really been able to turn things around. Someone said they lost four pounds just in that one week. So if you guys get value out of this, please share it out. Um, the workshop is on my website. Go click on it under my events and join up. If you don't know how, send me a message. The first and foremost thing you want to do is let's become friends. And please, guys, share out my YouTube uh, channel, Hey Lisa, because I'm super excited about it. And on Sunday, I'm going to be doing the drawing for that. And that, I'm going to do that when I'm on my live and doing my taster. And so we will have a winner that the winner can uh, win or is going to win. Uh, three packs of cream, keto cream. I'm trying to spread the word on Bulletproof Coffee, and this is a way better option than just regular Bulletproof Coffee. doesn't have hundreds of calories in it. It's got collagen, MCT oil, four different types of collagen, three different kinds of MCT oil, so it's absolutely amazing and good for you. So do yourself a favor. Get off the Bulletproof Coffee. This is so much better for you. Your skin looks great. Your hair looks great. Everything um, functions the way it should. Um, so Tuesday night, got Mixer Sunday, the Drawing Sunday. So if you're a subscriber on my YouTube channel, you will be entered in that drawing automatically. I look forward to you guys going ahead and subscribing and liking that. After I finish this, in the comments, I will put the link for the workshop and the link for the YouTube channel. Cream is super yummy. I love, love, love it. So those of you who know, know it's amazing. So I'm going to let you guys go. I will post this recipe within the hour get back to you on your comments. As always, over and out. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are wonderful. Have a great night. And share it out. Share, share, share. Share into groups. Share with your friends. Tag friends. Let's get the word out. I'm trying to reach my goal of 1,000 people this year that I'm affecting change for. So share this video. If you're catching me on the replay and we're not friends, make sure you click and send me a friend request. Talk to you soon. Bye.